Guys, we have a situation. You see, for the last five years, I've been running a Webflow design agency, and to be honest with you, I'm giving up. You see, last November, I started another agency that has grown beyond my expectations, and to be honest with you, is closer to what I want to do with my life and my kind of purpose and goal. So I've decided that I'm gonna start this new vlog series where I show you growing an agency from zero to $100,000 a year. And I'm already at $2,500 a month. So my new goal this week is to get my website that I've been working on for three weeks finally finished so I can get it out there and start getting more clients. And I guess the first thing I need to figure out is exactly what the hell I'm selling. I want to create a product that allows people to understand immediately the value that they're going to get and want to purchase immediately. It's kind of hard when you're talking about workflows and automation. So my first port of call is this Jay Hoovy video where he explains product market fit whilst making a pizza. I'll share my notes that I made on the video in the description and also a link to it as well, as I think it will really help you in your own journey when you're creating your agency. Something that's become apparent quite quickly is that I know how to brand for other companies, but I'm struggling how to sell a coder agency. Unlike a website design one, it's actually quite hard to figure out who do I target and also what am I selling to them? I got this great friend called Noah, who's actually a subscriber that reached out to me a long time ago. And I've just asked him if I can have a quick call with him because he does brand strategy. And I think he would be the best person to give me advice on where I need to focus first and what I need to figure out in order to be able to sell this service to someone. Part of, part of the reason I want to take this call is because I'm on this quest this week with this series that I'm doing where I'm trying to figure out what my uh, branding position is, but also my product offering. And I'm just wondering if uh, you could give me some general advice really on like the best way to nail this challenge, finding my target market, understanding my value prop and like really being able to like sell to someone in a sense. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. And, you know, more than happy to um, try my hand at, you know, giving you some advice. When I start with positioning, I usually start with, you know, like the golden circle, the why, the how, the who, the the what. Um, and then from there, that trickles down into, you know, finding your audience and really nailing that down. So I found, you know, from my experience that the copy and the way that you position yourself is all based on who specifically you're speaking to. Mm. The, w the way that you write your copy or the way that particular things that you're looking for um, the, the particular benefits that you're offering, those could all change based on who you're who you're talking to. So oh. that's really like the first step that I would take is nail who specifically you're talking to or, or mm -hmm. what your target audience looks like. Yeah, yeah, that that would really be my primary thing. And then and then from there you begin to write your copy, and that's that's oh, where yeah. the basis of your positioning lies. A few moments later. Yeah, well, apart from that, man, I'll let you go on with your day. I don't want to take up any more of your time, but I really appreciate you taking the call. Likewise. Yeah, I'll keep you in mind for any Coda projects. And um, yeah, looking forward to talking to you soon. Thanks, man. See you soon. All right, take it easy. Bye. Needless to say, Noah got me really excited about identifying my target audience. So I went online and started looking for personas or people that I wanted to target and the kind of companies I wanted to work with. I'm using FibJam to collect all of my notes and then in tandem using AI to help assist with the writing, brainstorming, and just generally checking my work. Then I'm gonna get ChatGPT to help me create the structure of what that website should look like so I can finally get this website design done and then developed next week. This was a pretty easy exercise because all I had to do was copy my notes into ChatGPT and then ask it prompts like, what do you find interesting about my notes? Where are the holes in my current thoughts? And also, how would you put all of this into a website structure that's optimized for a landing page? One of the things that I learned about this project is just keeping it really simple. You need to just help people identify what are the pain points that they're going through and the benefits of using your service. I use Reloom library to help use pre-made components to make this website. And although some of it is custom, I'd like to say about 75% of it is pre-made components you can just copy and paste into your project. The idea here is to launch fast, get feedback faster, and then reiterate until you have something that converts well. So now that it's done, I've got this call with my friend called Jack from Webflow. 
he's a really good designer and to have a second set of eyes on this project would be so valuable. And I was wondering if I could just show you my website and get your feedback on it. Yeah, sure do. Amazing. I think the copy, there's the title, like Elevate Work, Elevate Joy. I mean, I've got coder.io experts above that, but I don't, I, I think like I wouldn't read the paragraph text. Okay. Um, just, and I wouldn't necessarily know what what you do from this homepage header from this. Um, embrace the future, get started. Cool. What does that button do if I click that? Like, I wonder if you could just have like, book a call today. Like why, I don't know if you necessarily, like embrace the future, I don't know what, like just book a call today or something <laughs> might be stronger. Yeah, nice, know. nice, thanks. Again, copy wise, I wonder if you could have like, I don't know, something that's a little bit more like clearer from what is the pain point from the title. But yeah, like that. I think the picture here, I wonder, it's something about the picture. I'm like, love that I can see you. Would like to see more of you throughout the site. Fantastic, man. Appreciate it. All right, see you soon. All right, see you, man. Bye. Bye. Fuck. So I just got the call with Jack. Um, I, jokes aside, I think that the feedback he gave was absolutely incredible. And, you know, this is the whole point of this week is to get the website to a perfect point where somebody goes on it, it they know exactly what I do. And it's not about revisiting it, making tweaks and like having to rewrite all the copy. I want to try and get it perfect from the beginning and then make small incremental changes as I start to look at the data and stuff. So, um, Jack is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna put his stuff down below. He's been so helpful with this. And now I'm gonna go and apply that feedback to hopefully put, bring the website to a point where it's ready. One of the ideas that Jack had was to get rid of the illustrations I was using and instead use this more abstract iconography. It gives a much better impression that I'm the kind of company you wanna be spending $10,000 a month. And I feel like that's something we lose a lot of time. Does your brand communicate the price that you want to charge? Because if you look like a $10 brand, you really are only going to attract $10 customers. I then wanted to focus on his other point, which was including more pictures of myself. And after a few tweaks of the copy, I was really happy with how it started to look. I think one of the biggest points of this week was to figure out my pain points and benefits that I can offer to clients and then apply that to a website that I've been trying to finish for the last three months. And needless to say, after doing this exercise for a few days, I'm so much clearer on like what I offer now, but also it really just helped with putting the website together as it literally took hours rather than me sitting there constantly fiddling with sections and trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. So that's it for this week's video. But if you want to give me some advice down below on how I can improve these or what I should focus on next whilst growing my agency, I'd love to hear your feedback. On top of that as well, if you want to get some of our templates and start your own journey with Coda, you can do that in the description. I'm looking forward to the next video. Until then, bye-bye.